If the Yellowstone supervolcanoes erupts, North Dakota will see some serious effects from it. Our state lies in the primary ash zone. It's not as bad as the kill zone but it will still do damage and potentially kill many living things with hot ash. But according to geologists in the National Park, the super volcanoes is not the most dangerous thing that can impact our human lifetime. Scientists say the next super volcanoes eruption can be between 100,000 to 1 million years away from now. But Yellowstone earthquakes occur much more frequently and can impact far and wide, including in North Dakota. Geologists found strong earthquakes, which are six or above on the Richter scale, happen much more frequently in the National Park, about two times every century. The last major earthquake was in 1959, which was a magnitude 7.3. But there are always earthquakes rumbling in the region, even last month. The University of Utah seismograph stations located just 88 events during July. The largest was a 2.2 just north of Canyon Junction on July 25th, said Mike Poland, a Yellowstone Volcanoes Observatory scientist. There was also one swarm of 12 earthquakes located just to the northeast of West Yellowstone that occurred during July 10th to the 13th. The largest, a magnitude of 1.5, and it was part of this band of seismicity that extends from Hagen Lake into the north-central area of the park. Earthquakes in Yellowstone can cause hot springs to erupt and damage waterways. When the intense shaking of an earthquake occurs, a lot of sediment can impact the water quality in our rivers. The Yellowstone River joins the Missouri River in North Dakota, and these potentially harmful sediments can impact our state's water.